Tinubu has defended the petrol price increase and released a chart comparing Nigeria's prices with those of West Africa countries and why Nigeria should not complain. This follows reports that petrol prices are set to increase to 720 Naira amid Naira depreciation and foreign exchange. Currently, one liter of petrol is sold across the country for around 568 Naira in the southern states and for as high as 630 in the northern states. Uh -uh. I think uh, this ones are the ones I know how to play the politics. Why is their own so expensive? Which I know that uh, it's even more than that. Tinumbu revealed that Nigerians enjoy the lowest price petrol prices among Western Nigeria countries. The statement comes amid growing concerns among Nigerians as marketers suggest an increase in the coming days, citing various fundamentals. Tinubu speaking through his special advisor on media and publicity, Ajuri Ngalali, however, allayed the fears of Nigerians about possible increase in petrol price to 720 naira per liter. This day reports. Ngalili, who spoke with journalists at State House Abuja on Tuesday, April 15, uh, 2023, noted that the president said the current petrol pricing will be maintained. There is no need to reintroduce fuel subsidy. He said, this morning I have the privilege to, of sitting down with the Excellency President Bola Tinubu as we discuss the current unfolding situation in the country as it relates to fuel supply and demand. Mr. President wishes to assure Nigerians following the announcements by the NNPC Limited just yesterday that there will be increase in the there will be no increase in the pump price of petroleum muscle spirits anywhere in the country. To further drive home his points, Galali presented a chart stressing that petrol prices are still lower in Nigeria than other West African countries. Yes, he added that. Uh, yes, he now added that uh, within the visuals. You will discover the current pricing of refined minimum premium motor spirits at four stations in the neighboring West African nations. He said, I will mention a few examples as I am aware that you will be presenting these visuals to your audience. Graphics that have been graciously approved for public release by the president today. In Senegal, it's 1,200. In Guinea, it's 1,075. Côte d'Ivoire, 1,048 Naira. In Mali, 1,113 Naira per litre. Ghana, 900 Naira per litre. Central Africa, Republic, 1,400. Nigeria presently ranging between 568 and 680 per litre. Galele concluded, we are presently the cheapest, most affordable purchasing states in the West Africa sub-region by some distance. There is no country that is below 700 Naira per litre. <laughs> You see their life. This is the same nonsense. This one that they call it, the Nollywood actor access. This is what they feed them with, and they will come out and be yarning nonsense. They are selling at that, and people have come out to argue. Do those people do they have a oil in their country? So what are the things that say the Nigerian government is subsidizing? Because even in the well developed countries, they have a a lot of things that they are subsidizing for their people. If you have the oil in your place and yet you are comparing it that it's cheaper, of what use is it? They will not tell you about say, oh, what is happening in other countries, how the government is making things better and work and good system working for the people. No, they will not tell you how the other countries of of, of reputable whatever. How their politicians are not stealing money to a stupor, how they are not how they are not a uh, disobeying court order mm. where there's no injustice or where there's no uh, 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 unfairness they will not tell you about that one they will not tell you the standard of living, standard of living of those people. You say Nigeria is a giant of Africa. Are you not supposed to be comparing Nigeria with a western world or developed countries <clears throat> as those countries exchange rates? Are they the same as Naira to dollar? You guys are mumu in this very country. That's it. They, they will just come go and tell them anything, whether they like it or not. They should take it. 
Compare this income per month to useless man. They should also list the minimum wages of the each country mentioned above, comparing their minimum wages with the amounts they are selling their petroleum. They think that all Nigerians are daft. Could you please justify the minimum wage, you wicked people? <laughs> Shameless man is comparing Nigeria with other African countries. This is shameful. Well, let me believe that this piece was bloggers handwriting. Hey, no, check it out. There's a, 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 a there was a press, a press statement. Too. <laughs> hmm, but if it is true, meaning Tinubu seriously a devil behind a taunting God and he will be surely be stripped to open nakedness. A benchmark method can make a check and balance with the valuation of Naira and the fluctuating price per liter of way in banking. The industrial sector through do have an alternative source of energy in the most in the cost of production, but efforts be intensified to stabilize the price units of goods and services in banking. Hence I low I low the incoming reality in its market reaction in banking. He said I said this is a good move to make a transparency with other neighboring countries in the ECOWAS region in Africa, but efforts be intensified to stabilize the valuation of Naira and the ever increasing price per litre of way in banking make a high rule in some economic uh, derivative with view of enhance to enhance the sustainability of the income groups as its budgetary reports and return Nigeria. Waiting Nigeria do a PC. They want to kill us. They just want to make life harder for Nigeria why they are smiling to with our words. Is this government mad? Why should they compare these countries to Nigeria that has no oil and are very rich? Okay. Where is Papa Shonansi, who is blindly supporting Tinumbu during the electionary campaign? Tinumbu has brought his list to Yoruba tribe with his insensitive policy. It's so shameful. I doff my car for a fairy group. They want Nigeria against Tinubu. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Yeah, this is a another a, somebody from a, a Southwest talking here. And another one from the same Southwest attacking him that just because uh, you are short sighted, you are judging based on the present situation. This is the reason why it is difficult for us as a nation to develop. Because all what we are looking for is quick solutions to our problems. Has the Nigeria problem be solved before? Each government, any government comes in, they make it harder. You say, oh, they are the one to solve the problem. They, another one will come, we have to the problem. Uh, during, let's even take it from Good Luck Jonathan's time. During Good Luck Jonathan's time, everybody complained, corruption, this and this and this and that. Buhari came. You said Nigerians were in a hurry. That Buhari was just coming in and nobody was even ready to allow him to have them so rest. Now he spent eight years, eight years and compounded with the problem. Another one has come again. He even said that he's going to continue for where Buhari stops. And you're saying that Nigerians are too in a hurry. I don't understand. Just the very day Sinubu came on board, he compounded the problem, escalated the problem. And you are still blaming Nigerians that say they are not their patients. Now what for some people, a quick fix, but he was able to quickly damage the country economy that same day he came he didn't even give a people allowance when i hear people that say that say Tinubu just came you know quite long people are just in a hurry but he was so eager to tell you that very day that subsidy is gone which was supposed to go by june but he he made it to go by that's the same day he came on board and no solution to today as we speak yes stop making noise go and collect your eight thousand of palliative measures and stop your imaginary mentality here. Since you don't even want to hear the bitter truth, so be it. All the countries that suffered had sensible leaders and commitment. Forty billion naira for bulletproof cars, seventy uh, bulletproof cars, seventy billion naira for senators' palliative. After all, the their salaries is the highest paid in the world, and you want to develop whereas these funds are loans borrowed from China. You better wake up from your slumber. That's it. You'll just be defending nonsense. 
So guys, let's say your opinion and have your take on this.